Hey, man. Yo. What's uh, wrong what's... with tap dancing? Not a goddamn thing. I don't think you're you're uh, effeminate <laughs> just because you tap dance. Hey, you wanna... And I don't think there's anything wrong with you being effeminate. Are you going to spit on Gregory Hines' grave no, I... <laughs> with that kind of talk? Wait, wait. Is he dead? He's dead, isn't he? Is he dead? You killed Gregory are you... Hines. Are you tap now you want to kill me. Grave? <laughs> oh. Crona till you bone it. Crone it till you bone it. Uh. Don't be ashamed. Uh. I say you should own it. Uh. Crone it till you bone it. So we're uh. This is the whole thing. We're just going to do this all night long. Because it's Tuesday night, and that means it has got to be go time for Night Attack. Bringing you the best of the worst of the internet ever since anybody was paying attention. Hello, beautiful people. I'm Brian Brushwood, live in Austin, Texas. Joined, as always, my better half on the better half of the country from Oakland, California. It's Justin Robert Young. What is up, J-R-Y? So we do this show last week, mm. and it turns into this thing about moths. <laughs> Which, by the way, <laughs> I didn't mean for it to be a thing. Well, all I was trying to say... To no, all I, all ah! I was... No more explaining. No more explaining. You don't get to explain anymore. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> but we go. Brian makes, if you haven't listened to last week's episode, I can summarize it as Brian went on a lengthy analogy about how all the talented people that surround our show are moths to our flame. Yes, exactly. And that we're bright and shiny, but in ultimately hollow and deadly. <laughs> So we do this thing, and it's a fun time. Everybody's having a great time. We hang out with Mikey afterward, and it's it's fun, right? Great time. Sure. I walk out, and I swear to God, like <laughs> Omen, <laughs> right in front of me is a moth. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. In the chat room, they're calling for no moth splaining, but yeah, that, that's a good point. No, I mean, <laughs> listen, there was some, and I have seen no shorter than five different moths this week. You have moth. <laughs> this is the summer of the moth, Brian. <laughs> I'm so happy to hear that there it is. There's your Twitter. Will you have a moth in your apartment? That's amazing. It was an amazing. Look at him. <laughs> He's a beast too, man. And then the next morning, I was in the shower. I look over, and this moth is just like in. You know, might as well have been chomping on a cigar, like an old Looney Tunes cartoon. He's just like, like, hey, what's up? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> oh so, my god. So. <laughs> So Mech made a great Photoshop too for the Yeah, it's me. Week. It's me. Of all the times I've ever done, you know, fire eating stuff, this one I happen to have a flame that looks to uh, to all the world to be a tiny phoenix, or one would say a bright shiny moth. And he draws all these moths with all of our b most beloved members of Chat Realm on fire <laughs> from from the flame. I'm a beautiful moth, by the way. <laughs> you are a beautiful moth. You are. No, and, that, and no one can take that away from Look you. Look at T2T2. T2. Oh. He's going down in flames over oh, there. Oh, Chet oh, 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 no. Killing me. Uh, all right. Well, here, let, let's get let's get the business uh, uh, of, of the uh, of the evening up uh, uh, up at the top. You can go to right now hat dot t 2 t 2 dot eu. Download the bookmarklet and vote at the podcast awards. We got to do this once a day, every day. All the directions are right there. Once you have the bookmarklet, you can uh, you can just go to the podcast awards. You can do it via pop out. It's so super easy. Uh, uh, yeah, the, the pop out will just show you kind of what you need to vote for. The bookmarklet will actually bring you to the spot on the page and highlight uh, what you need to vote for. Just go down there. If we all do this right now, we give ourselves a tremendous advantage and make sure that you verify your vote yeah dude they're gonna send you uh something that'll go straight to your spam folder so make sure to verify that vote and look here i'm clicking right now it's so easy i could do it while i'm hosting a po comedy podcast listen there's no reason why we shouldn't win all these awards and there's some great great stuff on there including uh, uh we have concerns and uh the angry chicken scam school uh, so much fun stuff, man. I, I, I'm I'm super pumped about it, and uh, I hope everybody helps out to make it happen. Hells to the yes. Uh, you hey can even man. follow. There's a Twitter at Hat the System. Set up your mobile alerts. Get a text message every morning. At Hat the System. At Hat the uh, System. Who loves being reminded to vote? Not America. Because <laughs> we get that shit all the time. 
I also I also cursed, so I got the belt. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Just there we go. We're good. We're good. Yeah. Uh, hey, Justin. Yeah. You ever been in a fight? I have. I'm not good at fighting. Are you good at fighting? Are you a fighter? Have you won fights? Okay. I have been in two fights. One was at the ripe age of <clears throat> fifth grade. I got my butt kicked by two fourth graders. Maybe third graders. They might have been in third grades. So wait, do you count that as a fight or is that just you getting an ass kicking? I mean, okay, when you're chasing them on your BMX bike and you're the one <laughs> just so aiming you started for a fight. The fight. I mean, it was like, uh, dude, I don't even remember how it started, but there was a rock. Do you remember when you were yelling at them? Yeah. Yeah. Say it. Uh, I, I, uh, that that one's a little uh, hazy because, of course, the moment it was over with, I went to work uh, rewriting the narrative and scrubbing it from my memory. But uh, but but the the time I won the fight, I, I remember that one. That was in high well, school. Uh, hold on, wait a minute. Let's just real quick. <laughs> How old were you again when fifth, you were on the bike? Fifth grade. Fifth grade. Fifth grade. Fifth grade. Yeah. You're chasing down two fourth graders? Uh, or was yeah, just well, yeah no, it started on, you know, it started on the uh, uh, the, the playground and a little fussing at each other. And then like, yeah. Oh. So wait, what do you remember the fight was about? I honestly do have, I, I have no memory. All I have is the rationalization of like, <sighs> did I get my ass kicked? I think I got my ass kicked. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I got my ass kicked by two younger kids. I guess all I'm trying to get to is if we can recreate a high pitched version of your voice. Oh no 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 no! no. I I don't I don't have access to those memories. They're locked away and deep in my subconscious at this point. Sure. Okay. But if you could make something up, something that would be close to <clears throat> sure about at the time, it's like uh, oh, I'm sure I'm mad at my brother. Well, I better kick your ass, boys! <laughs> wow, a remarkably high-functioning fifth-year-old fifth grader. <laughs> You're like, oh, I'm going to ride my bike right up to you, and I'm going to shout and, and f f f f shake my fist at you. Oh, what's that? You both want to take me on at once? Oh, okay. Oh, whoa, you sure did stretch out my neck of my T-shirt. <laughs> uh, I think I heard a stitch pop. Oh, why? Well, I guess I'm riding my bike home. I wonder if Carlton could play. <laughs> I like the idea of us uh, having this be a segment that instead of little rascals, it'd be little assholes. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, let's let's flip it. Uh, wait, wait, what, what time did you fight? <laughs> so there was a kid in middle school named Keith. Yeah. Now... I was not as highly functioning as you were, Brian. I didn't quite understand the way of the world or that somebody that was from a trailer park was probably somebody that wasn't necessarily to be made fun of. Sure. Oh, wait, you didn't realize, you didn't realize that they, they brought a certain amount of credibility and reputation with them. Well, or just like, you know, people who live in trailer parks tend to be a little sensitive about it. Sure, right? sure, sure, sure. Something that they're out, you know. Like, I mean, this is before Kid Rock when living in a trailer was cool. So there was a lot of me just making fun of him because he was stupid. And I, I mean, remember. Uh, well, first of all, objectively, like in a court of law, was he stupid? He was stupid enough to get made fun of. Like, you know, so yeah, were, that's not fair. We're stupid enough to get made fun of, though. Sure. Yeah. I mean, all right, let me just explain. Right. Okay, so all right, the thing all right. that wound up started the fight was. We were in class and we were doing like a map of North America. Or it might have even been a map of Canada. And I don't know what he said specifically. And I don't know how close it was to the thing that I tormented him with. But what eventually became synonymous with him that I kept hitting him with was him looking at the map, slamming his finger down like he had nailed something looking up with light in his eyes and yelling, that there's Quebec! <laughs> no, so, so wait, first of all, that was the thing that actually happened, and that's what you, that became, some you turned it into a catchphrase. Some, some element of him pointing out Canada on a map 
Just some kind of thing where it was that like there's Quebec. Like, that there's Quebec. And Alex then that, of Quebec, course, host of Quebrity. What was that? I said Alex Quebec, host of Quebrity. Sure. And that became the song that we taunted him with, which was that, that, that. That, that, that. That's Quebec. That is Quebec. So we're. We're riding, or I'm, I'm riding around this strip mall that's close to the school that's where he lives, right? Yeah. I'm on my bike. And then out of nowhere, he jumps from behind a corner and punches me right in the face. Holy off cow. My bike. Wait, wait, wait. So you're on the bike in motion and you just cut suddenly just a fist to the face and you're laid out on the ground. Ah, I'm off the bike, right? Then he runs away. So now I got like, oh, my God, was that Keith? Was that that there's Quebec who just knocked me out <laughs> off the bike? What the hell happened? He didn't Broke even have a nowhere. He didn't even have a witty rejoinder at the end. He's like, you're know, like, uh, 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 how about this is Queen Neck? I punched you in the neck <laughs> up yours. He didn't have any kind of French Canadian like like au revoir motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> oh, somebody got the bell. All right, good. All right, I'm good with this. So so he just uh, it was a, you were involved in a literal hit and run, literal hit and run. So yeah. the next day, we're like, there's got to be a fight. By the now, way, now mind you, we are both at a magnet school. This oh, was, shoot. This is the whole, like, today, 3 o'clock at the bayou. You're going to show up, and we're all going to gawk. Well, yeah, except it was in gym class. And when I say magnet school, basically they, they had a program that would bring kids from higher tax districts sure. into a poorer school. Poorer school, you could understand to basically mean blacker school. And that's what this was. This was in Fort Lauderdale, some of the, uh, the, the blacker neighborhoods of Fort Lauderdale. So it's this uh, trailer park kid and me who are getting into a fight in a locker room filled with black guys that are just so delighted that two white people are fighting. Oh, right. it's, it's, it's like it's like a novelty, right? It's like uh, it's like you're in the middle of biology and two house cats just enter and start uh, oh, rallying yeah. at each other. And they, I and, and listen, I'd watched fights in that gym class, in that gym, over and over and over. And at a certain point, it became de rigueur. Like, oh, whatever, this dude's fighting this dude. Okay, two or if if a black guy was fighting a white guy, eh, whatever. Two white guys fighting. Oh boy, <laughs> hooting, hollering, everybody screaming and yelling, oh, shoots in their favorite cracker. It's, uh, what was the name of the school? Rogers Middle School. It, 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 here's how terrible Rogers Middle School was. I only got through two years of it before they shut it down for malfeasance and just turned it into a satellite school for pregnant teenagers. Oh, man, I can't rhyme alabaster with any of that, so I don't know how they promoted that fight. <laughs> Uh, so yeah. <laughs> I mean, do you know the fight chant? Uh, what, no, what's the fight? I, I, I thought this was universal. The fight, fight. A blank the, word and a white. Yeah, if, exactly, yeah Okay, yeah. yeah. Uh. It was contingent on, on a white person. Yeah, fight. no, if the white doesn't win, we'll all jump in. That was a terrible, shameful chapter in my history of... Being uh, in the South. So this was just, I guess, yeah, now that I think about it, if they were to use the fight trend, it would have just been fight, fight, a white and a white. <laughs> <laughs> Although just two years later, when two girls were fighting, it would have been a wife and a white. <laughs> With, uh, no, okay, no. <laughs> no, no, no. It's factually So accurate. we swear off, me and Keith. They're usually not and it becomes apparent that... Either of us want to use our fists. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we are literally just slapping each other. <laughs> <laughs> We're in a literal slap fight. <laughs> How pathetic this slap fight was between Keith and I. 
At some point, all the black guys just got disgusted and left. <laughs> <laughs> so, so like, you're, you actually experienced my literal nightmare. My repeating nightmare is that I'm setting up for a stage show and it takes so long for me to set up that the crowd gets up and leaves. You experienced that in real life with your fighting skills. Well, yeah, I mean, it was just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then I come, like, it, it goes to a draw, like we're both just kind of tired of slapping each other. And there was a dude who was in my class, or like also in my class, and I was like, yeah. <laughs> and I'm like feeling like the adrenaline of like the fighting and like, you know, my head's kind of like stinging from all these slaps. Oh, sure, sure. Uh, yeah, basically this. We have an artist rendition yeah. over here from the cast of Seinfeld. <laughs> and so I, 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 I walk up to my friend who's black, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, I got him, right? And he just looks at me with just this like, like, no, you both lost, dog. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I told Bonnie, um, I stumbled across, like, I don't know why. I, I, I don't think I buried all this stuff, but it's like I, I just don't think a lot about high school or any of that stuff because that's all behind me. But uh, I stumbled across uh, the, the fight, the only fight, I got into in high school and there, and there was a, you know, we were, we were sort of internet before internet was a thing, you know, um, 1991, 1992, you know, it's like we knew that universities had the internet, but, but nobody had dial up access to it or anything. So we would all use, uh, uh, you know, uh, internet bulletin board systems or, or BBSs, right? In fact, I ran one for a little bit and there are people, you know, who are also into that and you'd swap, uh, pirate games and all this stuff. That's how you got pornography back before, uh, well, I guess uh, that's nothing new to anyone who's had the internet. Uh, but uh, <laughs> in beautiful 64 color uh, gifts. Uh, but um, there was. A and if you have not, if you, I would like to sell this as an artisanal pornographic experience is trying to edge until the boob shows up. Okay. All right. You know what? That doesn't always go so well. I don't know if I've told you this. Because did, at, did you did you blow it on the chin? No, 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 no. Like, okay, oh, so I can't wait. Ah! So at at uh, <laughs> at twelve hundred baud, uh, it takes a long time for for them to come in. It was all you know, just straight from the top, straight down. Like a fax was coming in, and it's like you're like, oh, here it comes. You know, got the wiener out, and it's like, oh, there's the girl's face. Ah, oh, it's a girl. Keeps on going. Like, ah, oh, I'm looking at tits. Ah, oh, there's a there, and and oh, it's keep on going. There's her midriff. Oh, yeah. Oh damn! I see a a pussy, and then uh, and then they're like, "Oh, it keeps going. She's definitely shitting in a dude's mouth." Oh, oh damn! Boner. Man, that is what they should have at the beginning of the haunted mansion. <laughs> <laughs> put put that on his tombstone at the haunted mansion. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, it's it like it's just like you know, the one dude who's like like on the alligator, and then like it just you know like oh like look at this fancy lad. <laughs> oh, so so like when when the when the room lowers, I'm using yes, air quotes. The room lowers. <laughs> it's like shitting in a dude's mouth. <laughs> um, so the uh, uh, but during this time, like Jay had a couple of friends from another neighborhood over. Who uh, I don't know. They were, they were getting to be more of the bad kids, and I didn't know what. But they had taken to prank calling, uh, you know, just and and I think they had they had uh, totally papered our house or something, and then and left vaguely threatening horseshit. And so uh, and so finally, you know, I don't know, keyed up at the age of sixteen, and my brother's fourteen, and it's like, oh man. These guys are fucking with us. They're fucking with us. We should go do something. Yeah. Hey, you know what? Their parents are out of town, so they're just they're just on the phone messing with us. Oh, let's go get them. So we hopped into my Pontiac Grand Am 1986, powder blue, drove over to the other neighborhood and then pulled up, but they knew we were coming, right? And so it's like, and so so we show up and I walk out. And uh, and we see them up on the roof. Like they've decided this is where they're gonna make their stand. They've 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 taken bandanas and tied oh them God. bandit style over their faces, and then uh, and they're up on top of the roof. And then uh, and I think uh, I, I I don't know. So 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 we walk up, and uh, and then some. I see something kind of land to my left, and then land to my right. And then you know Jay shouting at them. We're all I don't know, just all shouting nonsense. And then at some point, like. A, uh, a rock hits my grand am. 
That's my ride. And then all of a sudden, it's like, oh my God. It's like that. Hey, man, you don't mess with another man's ride. <laughs> and so, uh, and so, like, that triggers something like, all right, now, let's go. I can only imagine. <laughs> and by, by the way, 16 year old Brian is about 28 pounds. Because <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine that in your mind. That rock pings off the car, <laughs> and it's just this slow Marlboro Man pan, like up to you, like as you like spit some dip out into the into the the the, the lawn, and you're just like, well, now you done did. <laughs> yeah, reckon there's an ass needing kicking up there yeah. on that their roof, and, and you go out there and Buford Pusser the <laughs> hell out of him, right? And yet. What the reality is probably closer to was that there was a 30 pound soaking wet chihuahua just starting to electrocute himself. Yes, hey, exactly. Yo. Well, and so, and, and by the like, way, Open Bayou helpfully says, should have parked a block away. Yes, I know. I, that's what adult Brian would do. And so, <laughs> if I was going to go terrorize 14 year olds, I would yeah, park a yes. block away. So, so uh, they had one of those. You ever have one of those houses where it's like they got like a little, um, I don't know, like a Spanish arch before in the foyer before you get to the house proper, right? So it's like yeah. you have to walk through an arch and then you knock on their front door. So they had one of those. And so, so I, I, I kind of walk over, I jump up on the corner, and I scramble up, and then I hear them as if they've, they've clearly planned all of this out in their 14-year-old minds. Uh, Wait, well, see, this is like they home alone you. Yes, yes. Or, uh, that's what it looks like at this point. Yeah. They're all like, hey, man, yeah, no, no, okay, it's right, right, ready. And then I, and then I, I stand up. And, uh, and and now I'm standing pretty much on the roof in front of them. I'm actually on that archway, but they're on the roof. And then uh, they they, they, uh, they have a lighter, and it goes, chick, 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 chick. And they take two or three different, you know, things. And then they and then they they lit hairspray on fire in front of me. But you could tell they were clearly uncomfortable with how dangerous it was. So it just kind of goes, whoo, whoo. <laughs> so it's and as it's, though <laughs> it's at this point Brian's fire eating powers were born. <laughs> <laughs> well, and so and so then this is when uh, uh so I realized like it was like well that doesn't seem very threatening and also they threw a rock in my car. So I walk forward and not knowing what to do, I punch. I didn't want to actually hurt him uh or at least not bad, but uh, so I didn't I didn't hit him in the face, but but I punched him in the chest, right? And and he kind of hits back and is just like, "Oh, oh. I'm tw- I'm 14 and a 16 year old just punched me even though he's smaller than me, uh, and then uh, uh, and then I not knowing what's to, what else to do it was just sort of like hey man leave us alone and then I I uh, in my mind in my mind I just whew, vanished into the night like a ninja <laughs> but yeah. what I what I actually did was awkwardly scramble down off of Aww. off of off of their roof but uh, but he was one of those dudes that bruised easily and Jay told me later. That he was just like, hey man, what was up with your brother hitting me? That was fucked up, bro. And then uh, and had a big bruise, and that was that was literally the closest to winning a fight I've ever gotten. That and the Mexican standoff at the Beastie Boys concert, where I put my fists around two dudes' throats. Did I tell you about that? No. <laughs> Although I feel like you just had told a really embarrassing story. And then you immediately panicked and wanted to tell a manly story. That's exactly what it well, was. Well, no, actually, this other one is actually even more embarrassing. Digging in, digging in, digging in, digging in, digging in, digging in, digging in to Brian's past. No, this was this was actually digging on, digging on, digging on, digging on, digging into Brian's past. Is there pain? We'll find it. Digging on, digging on, digging on, digging on, digging on down to Brian's past. Yeah. So, ah, shit. Yeah, you, you've been to a concert, right? It's all about trying to, you know, weasel, squirm your way up to the front, you know, get as you know, close as possible. You know, this is very teens and 20s behavior, right? Because I think once you get past 30, you start to understand the the value of just staying by the bar. Right? Sure, like, sure. But at this time, there's nothing but, you know, it's like they're they're the bright, shining sun. And exactly. the closer you can get, maybe you can enjoy a tan of their reflected glory, right? I not? didn't spend $25 in Ticketmaster fees so I could not get as close to the Beastie Boys as possible. Exactly, right? Well, at this Beastie Boys concert, they had a rule that uh, that said you can't, uh, you can't, no crowd surfing. All crowd surfers will be ejected, right? And, uh, and so... 
Uh, uh, so we're, you know, as, as you do, you know, it's like, I don't want to be out there where they're moshing and hitting each other. So I'm going to get closer and closer up the front. But along the way, a couple guys decide that, that I'm, I'm, I'm being a little too aggressive in, in how squirmy warmy I am getting me and Bonnie and my friend Austin, uh, up close as possible to the beastie boys. And, uh, and at some point they're all like, Hey man, what's with this guy trying to squeeze in here? And they're like, let's surf him and he'll get ejected. And so they both grab each of them grabs one arm and one leg of me, and they're about to lift me up. And not knowing what else to do in this moment, I reach forward and grab both of their throats. <laughs> the <And> double goozle! <laughs> and they have both of their hands engaged in trying to lift me up to violently, uh, uh, you know, uh, non consensually crowd surf me out of the concert. <laughs> yeah. And I've got my arms non consensually around their throat. <laughs> And then, uh, and then, uh, and then it's like they sort of like, and they they sort of set me down. It's like, hey, can you believe that guy? Oh, okay, can you believe these guys or whatever? And then at some point in that scuffle, uh, uh, somebody elbowed something, and somebody accidentally popped an elbow in Bonnie's face. And Uh-oh. what Bonnie said, no accident about it. Well, no, 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 I mean, I mean, they they weren't going for you. They were they were going for me, right? No, but I was yelling at them, and all of a sudden, boop. And then, like, right? Oh, wait, Bonnie, really... were you getting? Were you like, you know? I was all doing my little banshee thing. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't, you didn't go all, like all like Rosie Perez, like you know, just like like, what do you think you're doing? What do you think you're doing? You know, that's illegal. That's an illegal thing to do. No, I sounded like a chicken on crack. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Well, and so so Bonnie says factually, and I think looking back on it, what she meant to say is, uh, hey, Brian, during that last scuffle, uh, one of the elbows struck my uh, a tooth, and it's a little loose now, which makes me uncomfortable with the situation. I'd, I'd like to go. Let's, let's, let's go home. I, I'm not comfortable with this. But what I heard was that dude hit me, punched me in the face, and now my tooth is loose. And I said, what? She said, that dude punched me in the face and my tooth is loose. And then uh, and the kid, with nothing to back any of this up, I turned and I'm just like, what the fuck, man? What the fuck? You punched their fucking face? And then uh, and uh, and then and then there's this weird like everyone's there to have a good time. They just want to hear root down and, and yeah. dance. Right. And then uh, and then all of a sudden, like eight heads turn and they see me shout repeatedly, you punched my fucking wife, what the fuck, or whatever. And then, yeah. and and as if in that moment, um, <laughs> it's as though the prosecution made their opening statement and the jury standing around, they're like, yeah, we've heard enough. Uh, and then I just saw hands grab this person and they vanished <laughs> into the pit. It was, it the was most... like ghosts. It was. It yeah. was. Yes, it was. It was, exactly... it was exactly like ghosts. And I was totally like Patrick Swayze. And then we got <laughs> naked and we rubbed clay all over our tits. Oh, it was amazing. My it was completely love. amazing. <laughs> Which was weird that the Beastie Boys were covering that. I know. <laughs> now we need a, 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 a weird cover from Jet Real. <laughs> oh jeez! Oh voice. man. Well, listen. Uh, there's really only one more thing that we have to talk about, and I feel like we've done a lot to kind of maybe get some some motivation. Somebody, and by somebody, I mean Mizula, the Mike Ruler, the old schooler, uh, uh, tipped us off to this on Twitter today. That apparently the uh the the man who who did all the covers for Sweet Valley High is named James L Matthews and at jimmyart.com he takes commissions this is quite possibly the best thing with the best idea the best concept the best anything and everything we've ever had put in our laps this is the person who made uh, half the album covers, uh, album album covers, uh, book covers that like uh, that you passed on your way to the uh, to, to the comic book section, uh, <laughs> uh, dude? What if we uh, can, can we get can we get uh, a commission, mate? Can we can we fund this? What? How much is it? Do they dude, say it? It looks fairly affordable. 
Pastels, head and shoulders, starting at only $200. Dude. Dude. Uh, uh, do we have any uh, close-ups of his uh, of his al- uh, book cover work? I keep saying album covers because I want to do an album cover. <laughs> Hell, let's have him draw the D-Man, Test Moth says. <laughs> I mean, I feel like, depending on what his prices are, we could probably go in for a couple of these, right? I mean, let's, let's for sure get one that's... Just us, you know, for for the all right, album. We, all right, so here, here, uh, uh, Nash. Hold on, hold on, go back, go back, uh, dial up just a little bit. Uh, <laughs> there is a title of a book. Uh, a lot of these books are things you would expect. Nancy Drew, Hardy Boys, Time After Time, Night Judgment, uh, whatever. Uh, but then to keep going down. This title of the book. Go back up. The title of this book, there's a badass cowboy, and it says, The Man Who Had Enemies. (laughs) Starring the guy who shoots. Yeah, the man who had enemies that were in fourth grade when he was in fifth. (laughs) But he would exact revenge upon their older brothers later in high school. Uh, I feel like we need... Because I think, so what, if we wanted to do this for an album cover, like, we, we would want it in, in the style of what? Of, of Sweet Valley High? Oh, yeah. Nancy Drew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I'm thinking that, like, that Nancy, Nancy Drew, I, I, I want I want it to look like a family portrait of the two of us. Uh, no, there's got to be one of those, like, me and you in those, like, conflict. Like, it would be like, if it was, like, a Sweet Valley High, it'd be, like, double trouble. And we're, like, both back to yes, back. We're yes, like, oh, yes, yes. Yeah. And then maybe, or maybe maybe one of us, uh, yes, no, exactly that. That's exactly what it is. Like, or, yeah, or one of us has, like, a bunch of homework and the other one has, like, a slingshot or something. <laughs> <Yeah>. Like, <laughs> one of us is freebasing cocaine. The other one of us <laughs> is reading from the Bible. <laughs> So I think we need... There it is. There it is. We have winners. That is what we're <laughs> going to do. Dude, come on. Night attack. And that, we just get ourselves this Sweet Valley High girl. That one on the right. And we'll do that same font. It'll say Night Attack 4. Uh, 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 the, the, the vaginating. Is it 4 and 4 and a half? Or is it 5? No, okay. All right. All right. Uh, what you, so here's the deal. I think we need inspiration and we need suggestions. Uh, uh, where should they email in, uh, Nesh? Uh, send, send them to mail at nightattack.tv. M-A-I-L at nightattack.tv. Um, dude, I am so excited about this. I hope that this actually happens because uh, I, am, I am super pumped. We will. This will. This is happening. Right. Oh yes, yes, a hundred percent, hundred percent. If it's if it's affordable, like we can we can do one for us and one for the audience. By because- by the way, uh, can we can we put a uh, I don't know. Let's let's put feelers out to chat realm. Uh, what we need is an editor. Like at this point, I think there's easily what five or six hours of content that we've recorded for the album that we can find there's probably eight total <laughs> correct correct but and plus on top of that we heard that Stephen cogswell is cool with us putting you know his music stuff on the album if there's somebody who wants to make it there's their their product to sort of sift through this and figure out the threads and edit down the tracks because there's a lot of garbage in the tracks um uh, but you know, if you trim everything down, there's some pretty good uh, bits in there. If if you want to hit us up, also write us at that same email address, mail at nightattack.tv. Yeah. Uh, Demon Five says, Brian, you've got five employees. None of them can edit. No, they're editing things that make money. <laughs> <laughs> they they do not have time to edit this nonsense. Uh, all right, Brian. Uh, speaking of. Uh, the, the the people giving the people what they want. It's because they give us what we want, which is money. Uh, yeah. Thank you uh, to everybody who supports us at patreon.com slash night attack. Uh, uh, man, what an amazing uh, uh, summer we have planned. We're doing a couple live shows. Uh, uh, we already did the one in San Francisco. We got the one coming up in Orlando. And the one in San Francisco went so well that after CreateCon, maybe, maybe something else on the horizon. You never know. Wait, I don't know what any of that means. Uh, oh, you're saying you're saying we definitely have CreateCon, but but San Francisco did so well. You know, we should tease the fact that we'll probably do something else. Maybe, 
Maybe. 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 Uh, but anyway, thank you to everybody. Uh, we will be doing, continuing to do mixtapes uh, over the summer. So if you want those or you want to get access to all the ones that we've done in the past, head on over to patreon.com slash night attack right now and make sure that you pitch in, man. Uh, you know, a, a penny for uh, Fetty and uh, 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 rhymes for limes. Nickels. You're, you're not going to say rhymes for dimes? Nickels for pickles. <laughs> uh, a quarter <laughs> for the hoarder. <laughs> the hoarder, yeah. No, that's life hey. that keeps newspapers. Never, never spend this quarter, hoarder. Half, half <laughs> dollars. For religious martyrs. <laughs> uh, Nickels to get pickled? No. Uh, that's, uh, uh, all right. Yeah. Right on. <laughs> uh, hey, we got a game we're going to play today. Sacagaweas for <laughs> Bitch What You Needs Us. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, by the way, what was up with the Sacagawea coin? That lasted about 20 seconds. Do they still not have them, or they don't have them anymore? Well, I, I don't know. I mean, when's the last time you saw one? I mean, who needs a dollar coin? Yeah, dollar uh, coins are stupid. Dude, I love they dollar coins. Up. I love dollar coins. Wait, really? Yeah. No, I do. I used to I used to go to the bank and get Susan B. Anthony's all the time. They were just right. Uh, they were slightly bigger than quarters for magic stuff. And plus, it's like I loved having a change bin, and I knew – no matter what, even though it looked like I just had a little bit of change in the console, I knew I could eat a full meal at Taco Bell every single time because I just need to grab two or three of those and then boom, done. So, man, maybe I should get on this this train. I feel like I'm I'm now that I, I live uh, or a, 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 an independent lifestyle of just kind of working by myself. I feel like I have room to develop some eccentricity. So oh, one no. of them okay. can, can, can I can I point. help you? Can I help you? We need somebody to design a velveteen bag made of red velvet with a yellow rope <laughs> around it that Justin carries all of his money only in coinage. We get we we rally together to get like a five dollar coin, ten dollar coin, and hold bunch of ones and we insist for one month he takes the gold standard challenge where he walks around as if he yes. lives in world of warcraft and then whenever he buys something he pulls out the bag and he shakes it thrice <laughs> I, and then, feel like I could just get i could just call in for like take out sushi and, and then just like that'll be 15 dollars well uh Quite right. A fair price. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see what I have here. Shing, 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 shing. Oh, that's five of uh, the old Indian and uh, two yeah. of the, uh, of, of, I don't even know what's on a $5 coin. <laughs> well, uh, five will make you 10 and five <laughs> more will make you 15. Okay, look, the, the mere fact that we don't have words for all this means what, that we're all too unfamiliar with it. I want to take the anachronistic challenge. I want to see you want go into a do bar it? and get a shot. <laughs> What, like, listen, so over. here's how it happens. Here's how it has to happen. We both have to disable the, the card on the phone, and we have to give to our wives our credit cards. Oh, shoot. Did you just make this a both of us challenge? <laughs> yes, I did. Oh, son of a bitch. Listen, <laughs> okay. we're going to go down slapping we're like We're going to walk around Kate. with a bag of holding. Oh, we have a bag of gold, and we just set it a ching. Brian's already known as like stripper boy because he goes around with sweaty dollar bills. I've got and all those ones from the Ben and Teller thing. <laughs> I, I, I walk around and I'm like, hey, uh, here, got those ones. Uh, you need, you need some of those. I just feel like it'll be worth it to have that big slam of coin like on the on the counter every time. Oh, I'm gonna go to so many bars and just go. Ksh. Ah, would you like some of me gold? <laughs> I just like <laughs> be a coin at somebody and keep the change. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got a be... game here. Uh, Neshcom, uh, what is our game today? So uh, this was started by uh, Orison in the chat room, but we got some more responses from chat roamers all, do all, all uh, day today. This is called uh, Who Said It? Or I believe it's called Who I Said What? I Said What? Who said it? Uh, slash I said what? Uh, we've got about 14 different quotes here from both of you guys. We've got time-coded links. Uh, so I'm going to read them to you. Okay. And you're going to have to decide who said it. Right. Uh, Whether and and, and uh, uh, Brian, do you want to team up and play against the game, or do you want to go against each other? Uh, when, when we play against the game, how do we know if we won? 
we guess it correctly. Okay, but how many? I guess we'll see what our score is. Yeah, no, that's cool. It's cool. Okay, and we'll get, we'll take turns. You'll go. You'll still sure. Flash out. We went. We went against each other last week. We don't need. Hey, listen, hey man. man. Look, Everyone sometimes it turns out we're on the same team, Justin. Yeah. All right. So here we go. We're on the same team. We're gonna figure it out. By the way, we're gonna realize also how incompetent both of us are about the history of the show. That's why it doesn't matter if we're both on the same team because either of us remember anything that happened <laughs> two shows ago. Yeah. All right. So here is your first. I said what? I'm unfamiliar. Uh, Brian, you'll go first. Okay. I'm unfamiliar with Premiere. I always use Final Cut. That would not be me because I have never used Final Cut in my entire life unless I was playing a character. Brian, Brian I've never used Final Cut. Oh, <gasps> ah! dun, dun, dun. Okay, then. So who would joke about using Final Cut? I think that would have been your move. I think I would have made a joke about Sony Vegas, um, and also you're more likely to be playing characters than I am, so I'm going to say that was Justin. And I was playing a character. Yeah. All right. Yeah, no, I agree. All right, here we go. That's great. Also, I'm afraid that uh, Bryce and Brant are really overwhelmed, Satan. I'm going to need you to take over edits for, I mean, you, you got your choice. You can either handle the Behind the Scam episode that we're working on, or if you want to tackle one of the Scam School remixes, we just want to try you out in rotation on that stuff. I'm unfamiliar with Premiere. I always use Final Cut. I'm just, look, I understand. Look, that's I'm sorry. Yeah! Night Attack 56, friend with friends with invoices. Who who are you playing? Uh, the devil? I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, no, I think you were playing the devil, and I was trying to put you to work <laughs> on the scam school on on the on our bizarre magic team. Uh man, Brian, all right, all right. Good start, good start. Feeling you know. it. All we right. know, we know, we know. All right, let's go. <laughs> Here's number two. Justin, this is going to be to you. Now available, Cock Jams, Volume 4. <laughs> By the way, I need immunity for this bit. <laughs> 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 now available, Cock Jams, Volume 4. Now, I do know that I love to make jokes about Jock Jams <laughs> because Jock Jams is... A very funny concept, and it is very evocative of a moment in time. And it was every fourth commercial when you watch the morning sports center. Um, but I is a jock jam. <laughs> Ma joke? Mothra in the chat says, Y'all ready for dicks? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I'm sure that's the exact joke we make in I'm this sure, clip. I'm sure. <laughs> I forgot. This is a beautiful thing, man. Hydro and Easter eggs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Justin, we're going to need an answer from you. Now Wait, available. No, Brian, what do you think? We're playing together. Um, I think it's you. I think it's you. So wait, is it in your capacity to make a Jock Jams reference? Well, I think if if I did say it, the only way I would say it is if you made the Jock Jams reference and, and I realized that, with cock jams. that I could, yeah, that I could move it a bit over to Cock Jams. Which, which does seem like a move I would make, it right? It seems like a Brian. I'm going to go. Brian said cock trips. <sighs> All right, here we go. Uh, although uh, Ion for Life just wrote uh, uh, cock jams, and now all I can think of is, uh, you know, uh, uh, cock jams. Now available, cock jams, <laughs> volume four. Ah, da -da -da. Dang. Wait, hold on. Are we doing the already for dicks thing? <laughs> Wait, wait uh, it well, probably available. is. Cock Jam, Volume 4. <laughs> da, 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 da. Ow! Get those dicks now, pump it. <laughs> uh, I was going like with the, uh, with the, da, 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 da. Oh. Ow! In the butt. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Ow! In the butt. <laughs> like, wow, somebody's working blue. <laughs> you guys are funny. <laughs> <laughs> we wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> Although don't don't sleep on pump out the dicks pump them up. <laughs> Uh, all right. I, I, although I, I'm going to say that we're funnier now because the chat realm came up with uh, y'all ready for dicks. That seems like y'all ready one. for dicks. Are yeah, that's that, that's pretty good. All right, so we're one in one. I, I'm I'm still feeling good. Let's go. Okay. All right. Brian, this is to you. Roger. If any woman is about to engage in sexual congress and hands you a black light, you know you're in for something good. 
Okay. I'm gonna say that's a that's a Brian phrase. Sexual Congress to me is an inherently funny phrase, mainly because I just picture a bunch of bickering dudes in wigs. Like, <laughs> let me feel that again. <laughs> Sexual. All right, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna trust your instinct. I also like to say sexual Congress, but I feel like I got it from you. So, all right. We, we also, we also have a black light right over there. We oh, have a gigantic. By the way, I can only imagine that Crunchy, if, if you are lucky enough uh, to to uh, engage in sexual Congress, ah! with Crunchy, you like a black wait, light, wait, wait. flashlight. By the and, way, uh, and a, wet a wet nap, and you're like, all right, things are getting serious. For the record, I mean, I, I don't want to limit this to Crunchy. If any woman is about to engage in sexual congress and hands yeah. you a black light, you know you're in for something good. <laughs> yes. ah! What a twist. Wow, yeah. Oh, that was good. Good, good, good. Hey, nice. man, I, I feel like we were all shows are amazing and fun. Everybody should go to Night Attack Live shows whenever yeah, a Night Attack Live show Two happens. very successful Night Attack Live shows. They've been great. Yeah. All right, Justin, this one is for you. Oh, let me hit the... the... There we go. Got to get a bit of suspense. <laughs> got, got a little ASMR in there. <laughs> right, this one is for you. This one's for you. On there, Justin. All right. To... The quote <laughs> is... That two-tone farmer's tan is just fucking glistening. Oh, Jesus Christ. That is you talking about me. Yeah. <laughs> there is no way that's not you talking about me, Justin. <laughs> um, it sounds like my mean spirit. <laughs> is that your answer? Um, do, all right, but do do you want to go for style points and 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 uh, do do you remember a particular farmer's tan that I would have mocked? I mean, it would have been. I want to say that it's me. I in my mind. Oh, it, test uh, extremely helpful in the chat room. It's from when Brian worked outside. Oh, sure. Where, where else would he be getting the glistening two tone farmer's tan? I, I would almost certainly imagine it's me talking about going for a bike ride with my shirt off. Uh, what's the exact quote again? The quote is, that two-tone farmer's tan is just fucking glistening. You know what? That also seems like something I would say about myself. In that, because it's something I'm very self-conscious of. Mm. Uh, so right now, the two harshest voices in your life, your internal monologue and me, are at competition. I mean, in so many ways, the same. <laughs> In so very many ways, the same. Oh my god! Uh, I'm gonna say it was. You. Oh, wait, this is Justin's play, though, right? Yeah, no, but I'm, I'm I, like you have a way better handle on this one, so I'm I'm guiding with you. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna guess that it's Justin in the safe space of Night Attack razzing me about me on the bike. That's that's what I'm feeling. All right, I I agree. Turn the keys. <laughs> Well, so we finish up. So you're doing work. <laughs> yeah. Like sweat dripping off your brow, I, you know? He's, like, covered in, like, a little bit of paint residue. Oh, sure. Dude. Yeah, right? He's a little tan that, from yeah, being that, in the that, sunshine. Yeah, that two-toned farmer's tan Wait. is just fucking <laughs> glistening. Yeah! yeah. Good game. Good one. Man. That's correct. Dude, we're killing it. Is it two and two? By the way, this is the, the real, the real uh, 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 fun parts of these games are Ryan remaining... A pristine, beautiful man, and my just side character in a video game hair just going into different bizarre lengths and changing <laughs> Uh dude, uh, we're three and one against Hitler. Congrats. All right. Here's the next Wait, one. Wait, do we have another one? Yeah. We do. The quote is Monster Cox, the Cox of Monsters. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna defer entirely to you, Justin. That it's sounds Taylor's like choice. a neat thing. I love to do the, uh, I love to do that the 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 the, the wordplay thing. People are screaming that it's you, though, but it sounds like it's. I, I mean, they're divided. Like... I'm seeing 50 50. Uh, oh, people are saying this was movie announcer. Half of them are saying it's me. Half. All are right, saying we can't look at the, we can't look at the chat room. We okay. All chair. right. I say it's me. Lock it in. Play the clip. All right. Can we monster cocks the cocks of monsters? <laughs> Can we wreck all the universes? Yes. 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 <laughs> ah! 
Well done. Well done. Wow. Three to two. Hitler's catching up. All right. Mm. Here's your next one. Mm. Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good sign. <laughs> Got some 17-year-old C-words who need a little bit of the old super sauce, if you know what I'm talking about. Oh, that, that's Justin all the way. Hey, hold on. Let me think that through. C-words? How old? Got some 17-year-old C-words who need a little bit of the old super sauce, okay, if you know what I'm now, talking about. Now, first about. of all, are you refusing to say the C-word? It in in No, what I have here <laughs> says C-words. Okay, got it. I'm going to say yes, Justin. Uh, Justin. Uh, well, what what is the joke though? Well, it, 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 I I don't is, know, but I don't often like. I think you delight just in saying the words the c word because it's so transgressive and it makes everyone think of the c word. Whereas whereas I always have I often have Bonnie in the room and I'm less tempted to go there. To say this, to uh, say I'm even. Really sad and rethink all my life choices. <laughs> You're less tempted to go there. Um, uh, it does sound like something I would say to make you laugh. Like it, it sounds like we were talking about something that had that started with a C, and then we could work in this this gross analogy. Right. To kind of bring it together. Mm, yeah, I, I agree. Probably me. Me. Lock it in. All right. Oh, Good. Listen, uh, got some uh, got some 17-year-old C-words who need a little bit of the old super sauce, if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm, like, really busy right now. Yeah, like, okay. uh, I got a lot of, like, souls in hell that I'm torturing. Beasel badass, listen to me, buddy. You like baby? I, I gotta say, my napalm jism, I'm I'm on E, baby. Like my gaslight. All right, time out. Can, can we just like, watch the rest of this episode? What the, the fuck was this conversation? Right, number one, this is this isn't the name of the episode. This is just a clip. This is a Ryan clip. Ryan reacts to YouTubers react to baby metal. Yeah, right. Um, oh. how many bits do we do where you're talking to the devil? <laughs> And why am I never the devil? <laughs> this is just like a collection of bits where I'm the devil and Brian's interviewing me in various different <laughs> opinions. Be Hazel badass. I love I love the, the the moment we're two old queens and I'm trying to make you, you know, feel good about yourself before you go back out there for all the bad boys. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn. All right. Wait, so now Hitler's tied. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Man, we thought we were we, we thought we were hot poop, and next uh, we're falling apart now. Yeah, dude, we gotta fix all this. All right, I think this is you, Brian. Okay. You don't know how the internet works, you dick. Oh God, this could be on either of us. <laughs> I feel like the you dick though, like that's that's a bit more your style to throw some random uh some random uh i don't want to say anger but but just uh, some random a random little knife in the ribs yeah like, yeah yeah which, which kind of, it's it's great because it works just about anywhere right um whether it's a guest it, it, or your it, 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 it's a real utility yeah <laughs> i'm gonna say that's just it right. um that does sound <laughs> This, like this bit's called Quiet Reflection <laughs> with Brian and Justin as we reevaluate who Is we this are. Is an intervention? <laughs> <laughs> Is this like the last episode of Seinfeld where we're made to realize we're terrible? <laughs> You're like, no, seriously, this is who you are. This is your legacy. Hey, no, Congratulations, no, assholes. Like it's just gonna be like us making fun of the handicapped and like you know <laughs> yelling about charities and religion and like it's like oh no wait you guys are all terrible welcome to the last episode of the of, of, of the entire franchise we're yeah. ending it tonight all right so 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 are we feeling like that's uh that's your tombstone or mine <sighs> no it's mine <laughs> we call it people dicks for no reason Fire to things. <laughs> Wait, I think that well, ever happened. So t tell me this, Captain. How is it that you're able to enjoy the night attack program all the way out at sea on the other half of the world? Oh, it's very simple, Brian. First things first, you have to go and, and train a gull. <laughs> train a gull to do what? 
Well, the goal goes around and he picks up many bits of internet from various <laughs> seashores. Wait, so, like, they're like they're like shells? They're shiny objects? Well, you know, geez, Brian, you don't know how the internet works, you <laughs> dick. <laughs> I thought we were going to get an audible there and have it be, uh, have it be uh, Tom Merritt. <laughs> yeah, no. Well, it was Captain Morgan, so technically it is a no action, as as Captain Morgan was the one calling people dicks. <laughs> technically. Is technically. it bad that I feel better about myself now that I was calling you a dick in character? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no. Oh, you and me both. Like, the moment I saw the puppet, I was just like, oh, fuck yes. Thank you. <laughs> and you got the belt. Oh, I already have the belt, man. <laughs> it gets bigger every time I say All it. All right, I'll tell you what. So what, what are we at? 4-3? Uh, yeah, dude, let's do the next one is worth 10 billion points. Us versus Hitler. Okay, that's, let's see. Da, da, da. Oh, I, uh, uh, here's a quote. I hope they pick me. I'm only a college student serving in the active military. Oh, this is you and me talking about the price is right. Oh. And I feel like that would be me <laughs> because that was one thing I always loved was Don and Mike would do a bit where they were they would always deconstruct the archetypes that went up for for uh, for the prices right. It was always college student, old lady who dreamt of Bob Barker, uh, active military, and um, uh, I forget the other one, but, but whatever. That that seems like a Brian trying to wedge in a bit that he loved. 15 I, years I'm, ago yeah no uh, not mean enough not me <laughs> <laughs> all right here it is this is right he, he shows up in a service uniform like uh, i don't know i hope they put they pick me i'm only a college student serving in the active military and grandmother of five <laughs> yeah i look identical i look identical Nothing has changed. No, now I have Rico Suave hair. Literally, every every different clip. Like I'm, I'm just, you know, like that hair. Okay, go back to that hair. Here's our side bit for this. Just, just click on all these and look at all the different bizarre hairstyles. This is a man who knows who teaches ballroom dancing, right? Sure. Uh, 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 that is his uh, college roommate who has the same hair but doesn't moose it as much. <laughs> all right. Uh, that's uh, who's that guy? Your drug dealer. <laughs> <laughs> and this one? Uh, your drug dealer, but five pounds heavy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. By the way, I was surprised nobody sent us something like literally from last week because I'm pretty sure we would have done just as well if it was just last week's episode. Oh no! Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, hey, Brian. Yo. Yo. Do you yeah, want to go to uh, uh, Diamond ready, Time real quick? Justin, let's go to Diamond Time, America. <laughs> you America. don't believe. <laughs> you wouldn't believe what happens in a race across America for all the diamonds. The Diamond Club in Diamond Time, the diamonding seven, seven oh, facets to glory. <laughs> all that glitters is not gold, but all that shines is diamonds in <laughs> Diamond Time. Dot Reddit. Dot com. You thought you knew what Reddit was about? Fuck you. Because <laughs> you don't know. John Goodman stars as a man looking for some help down on his luck, ready to give up until Diamond Time settled in. But also, did we mention he's the King of England because this ties into King Ralph universe, which he was also in. Did we mention that? Diamond Time. King Ralph Universe expands uh, like you've never seen before as Diamond Time becomes America's greatest treasure and England's greatest problem. <laughs> but wait, now he's married to Roseanne Barr. <laughs> you didn't know that was in the same universe as well. <laughs> Diamond Time, where the King of England works at a steel mill <laughs> in Midwestern USA. He's also the bad guy in a writer's <laughs> colony where he's tormenting a man writing a movie about professional wrestlers. Barton Fink references <laughs> abound in diamondtime.reddit.com. Oh, what's this? He's poked his eye out, and now he has it out for three escaped criminals in Diamond Time. 
Where art thou? <laughs> now he's under a bunker in a movie that is about aliens, except you don't see aliens until the final ten minutes. It's but uh, in Diamond Time Lane. <laughs> <laughs> but also, let's talk about those dicks on the internet who had a problem with that. <laughs> America. America. Fuck them. Diamond time. <laughs> Diamond time. <laughs> Diamond time where you can have your project shouted out uh, right here on the program. Uh, Reddit.com slash r slash Diamond Club. Not Diamond Time. We've been yelling about the wrong thing. Uh, uh, yeah, right there, stick it at the top. You can uh, put in your favorite project we will read it uh oh wait look at this <laughs> uh uh listen as a classic 90s monster truck commercial please read saturday 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 it's the game on asshole tournament 2016 join in the colossal chat realm clash Smile on the diamond destructiveness America. go to low 420.com slash goat 2016 to register America. play starts at noon pacific on saturday 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 America. be there or die in a fire america America. Uh, <coughs> details. Okay, so it's a Hearthstone tournament conquest. Best of five starts on uh, Saturday, June 4th, 2016. Noon grand uh, finals will be Saturday, uh, July 30th. Time TBD. You can sign up right now. YOLO420.com slash G-O-A-T six, or, uh, 2016. 2016. Oh, Wiggles the Holy writes us saying, Hello, fellow Diamond Club members. Wiggles the Holy here. I've been uh, in and out of activity within the community and have been slightly absent lately because I've been working on an event that means a lot to me and my family. A little bit of backstory is that my wife, brother-in-law, cousin all suffer from cystic fibrosis. Holy cow. His wife, brother-in-law, and cousin. Okay, so they're all related on their side. Um, <clears throat> I, was, I was thinking that would be a very weird coincidence if they were not uh, blood relatives. Uh, a hereditary disorder. Uh, we have some friends who uh, have cystic fibrosis. Affecting the uh, exocrine glands, it causes the production of abnormally thick mucus, leading to the blockage of the pancreatic ducts, intestines, and bronchi, often resulting in respiratory infection. I'm a cyclist and a, beer, a craft beer lover, thus like... Uh, thus. Bike Brew Q was born. This event is the first of its kind for the area I live in and means more than words can describe for me. Please check out bikebrewq.com. That's B R E W Q uh, dot com. If you uh, feel inclined, click the donate button to donate directly to Cystic Fibrosis Foundation in our event's name. Thank you, Brian and Justin, for showing that confidence is the best utilized tool in the bag. No, America, the best tool in the bag. Bag is a Sacagawea coin as Brian and Justin uh, engage in the goldening. <laughs> For one month, these gentlemen must carry the, all their money in a bag of gold. <laughs> You've never seen a sack bulge like this, America, <laughs> bulging with buying power and coins. <laughs> and just watch them try to buy a brand new refrigerator. That's a big bag, America. <laughs> a young Rachel Lee Cook stars as a barmaid who is very confused that they don't have a credit card. I mean, okay, you realize how great it would be for the two of us to walk into a bar and then, uh, you know, with giant handlebar mustaches and just sort of, you know, walk in like uh, maybe... maybe You understand we, that this is how this is going to happen, right? Is that we're both just going to be it's going to be the reason why one of us flies to the other person's city so we can go on a pub crawl where we only pay in coin. Yes, yes. And we, we walk in and ching, 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 ching. But we have also, to. Also, it, it, it's the only logical progression of our new obsession that whenever we hang out together, we make dollar bets. Yes. And oh, it's dude. the only way to make that better is well, if we'd bet in coin. Better for you to walk away with all my goddamn money again. This is It, it did not go well this last time. I mean, I cleaned you out. I yeah, had to work on my fine. grip. It's fine. It's fine. I, my, grip, my grip had to, you know. Yeah, dude, to... you're going to have biceps of steel by the time you're done. <clears throat> um, hey, California Carl says, hi, everyone. It's a friendly link sheriff taking up the open diamond slot time uh, with a plug for the DCTVpedia. If you've been watching this episode and wondering self, 
Why are the hosts saying and reacting to so many weird things? What is with this bullshit? Why is everyone in the chat shouting the word belt over and over and over again? Well, podcast viewer, you are not alone. Studies, which don't exist, have shown that every episode of Night Attack has at least E to the Pi references. Ooh, wow, that is a good, that's a deep cut. Deep cut. <laughs> yeah, references, callbacks, or inside jokes. That was one just now. In fact, I'm going to ask everybody in the chat realm to say how many inside jokes, references, or callbacks they've seen so far tonight, or just start spamming random numbers. This just turned into another callback. Uh, now in the chat realm, are going to start listing a bunch of inside references they've seen over the years. They're going to mention things like hashtag NACA 2011, Creepy Santa, Clench a Butt, and Frodo Baggins. All these entertaining and embarrassing references are yours to discover on the DCTVpedia. There's even links to all the old episodes where these things first came to life so you can relive the fun forever and ever, or until YouTube makes the takes them down, or until Leon stops putting them up. Either way, DCTVpedia.com. P.S. Jerry, thank you very much for finally buying Santa a beard. That's true. By the way, all of our old episodes are up, even if the network decided to delete all of them. Mm, you cannot. Uh, that that which is dead can never die. <laughs> nope. It only rises uh, stronger and more bullshitty than before. <laughs> That's right. Uh, oh, who got the belt? Who got the belt? Gonna uh, donate okay, to W's got us one. We're gonna read four because uh, because uh, 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 California Carl uh, was thinking about filling in. An empty slot. Uh, I know we already plugged this, but we will read one more plug for it. W. Scott is one says, hello, Diamond Club. Are you sick and tired of politics always getting in your Facebook feed? Well, then you absolutely shouldn't listen to Politics, Politics, Politics by Justin Robert Young. YOLO420.com slash politics, bitch. But I've got a truly bipartisan party that everyone can join, no matter if you're Democrat, liberal, conservative, Republican, don't matter. Join the hat party. Yes, the hat party. We are a bipartisan party that aims to make the podcast awards feature enough funny hats by going to hat.t2t2.eu or night a pack. That is uh, oh, night uh, letter a p a c dot com. And by voting on the hat party slate uh, at the podcast awards dot com or yolo 420com slash podcast awards, bitch. You'll be doing your internet civic duty. Again, that's nidapack.com. Vote at yolo420.com slash podcast awards, bitch. Help us make the podcast awards great again. Mm, mm, mm. That sounds good. Shall we uh, check in with the movie draft a minute? Indeed. Welcome to your movie draft minute presented by CosmicRadio.tv for the week of May 30th, 2016. I'm your host, Berto Viegas. To quote the great Leonard Epsilon Church, miss me assholes? Let's go take the <laughs> scoreboard. Team We Have Concerns is in sixth place with $35.2 million. Team Cord Killers is in fifth place with X Men Apocalypse bringing $80 million this week. Team Am Truckers in fourth place with $172.6 million. Team Chainsaw Suit is in third place with Alice with Looking Glass bringing $34.1 million, bringing their total to $395.1 million. Team DTNS is in second place with $408.5 million. And in first place, the whopping $449 million. It's Team Night Attack. And that is your Movie Drive Minute for the week of May 30th, 2016. Dude. Hey, X-Men uh, slacking on its pimping. Uh, yeah, dude, apparently X-Men's not very good. People are saying it's not good. Uh, have you seen it yet? Did I, did I ever seen it? Yeah. No, I ain't gonna see it. Not gonna see it. Did uh, you see the Did you see Days of Future Past? No, I heard it was okay, question mark. Did you like it? Nah, it's a bit of a mess. Mm. And you get to these parts where, like, uh... You know, Patrick Stewart and Ian McKellen are like playing characters when they're obviously having more fun on their Instagram feeds. <laughs> yes, their buddy like, comedy is amazing. Yeah, just do that. Just be like like uh, a, a British actor BFFs and and not like pretending that like like Ian McKellen specifically just kind of doesn't want to be there and. Uh, that's really frustrating and annoying. So I don't know. I mean, I was, I, I think in, inherently I was very frustrated by this X-Men because they put Oscar Isaac in a, uh, grimace sarcophagus and, uh, that bothered me. So, I mean, uh, so we'll see. I'll, I'll go see it. <clears throat> so, I mean, DTNS is going to run away with this, right? They still have free state of Jones. Now you see me too. Star Trek beyond and suicide squad. There's no way our two movies is going to take that down. 
So wait, what do we have? We, we got we got uh, Ghostbusters and uh, Secret Life of Pets. I mean, it really depends on on whether or not like the the big unknown is Secret Life of Pets. Yeah. No, no, no. It could come out of nowhere and totally kick some butt. That's that's entirely if, possible. Because like it, it's the same team that did Despicable Me, right? Yep. Uh, yeah, but Despicable Me. Well, like uh, when when we won hard, or when I won hard, uh, was with Minions, right? That Minions thing was uh, had yeah. sequel vision going on, so I'm 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 not seeing it. Uh, I mean, and there is the the fact that like we bought Ghostbusters because we thought there was no way it would ever get cheaper, right? It was right. at the lowest it could possibly be. Uh, and it, although it, right uh, now we couldn't sell it for ten cents. <laughs> Well, now Dan Aykroyd's out there pimping it, but then again, he's also selling Crystal Head Skull Vodka. Yeah, he's so also obviously. selling us on uh, government conspiracies and actual UFO aliens. Uh, yeah, yeah. we are. Wait, wait, there's a full Ice Age movie coming out as well around the same time. That's problematic for us. Yeah, but that's that's been in decline. Okay. Like this is their like fifth sequel, fourth sequel. Man. We have concerns in that fifty-one dollars for the Conjuring Two. <laughs> Get ready! Get ready, people! Conjuring fever, catch it! Ah, uh, dude. Can I say I'm kind of intrigued by the Ninja Turtles movie? I kind of am too. Right? It talks about what it is, uh, what's the nature of to be human, and uh, their quest of you know, would they like to be human? It just looks really like a big, dumb, silly, stupid movie about Ninja Turtles, and like I'm really excited about that. I mean, yeah. Would would you, would you like anything but that, right? Well, it's just I, I mean, everyone's like, oh, I don't know. Uh, maybe there was a movie that came out earlier that took two gigantic cartoon characters and decided to make it a bleak meditation on <laughs> on uh, society and whether or not duty is and is honor and vice versa, right? Like. Uh, uh, no, I just want, uh, like, it, it just seems to wear it on its sleeve that, like, hey, look, we're going to turn a professional wrestler into Bebop and Rocksteady, and they're just going to run over things and be like, Red, I'm a rhinoceros. Yeah. Oh, I'm a rhinoceros. <laughs> I'm like, yes, that's something that speaks to an element of my soul. Uh, I think you're right, actually. I, I, I think you're 100% right. Mm. Um, Brian, what did we learn here uh, this evening? We learned that you and I have the attention span and or the memory of goldfish. We learned yeah. that uh, we learned that uh, that that which is dead can never die. Oh no! We, we learned uh, that uh, that stickers are available at stickersordiaf.com. Oh yes! Uh, also, the 2016 expansion for the Contender. Uh, yeah, put the Diamond Club symbol uh, when you buy anything at thecontender.us. I'm going to sign it for you. Uh, do it on uh, stickers or DIAF, too. Anything you buy from me on any of my sites, put, uh, put the Diamond Club symbol. I'm going to sign it. 2016 edition. 100 cards. All new stuff. All from this uh, past primary season. I'm so proud of it. Uh, uh, and thank you to everybody who backed on Kickstarter. We finally got everything out. We are done with Kickstarter fulfillment. I couldn't be more excited. We learned that it's never too late for plugs. We learned... Uh... <laughs> We learned that we love you guys with all of our hearts, man. Do us a favor, die in a fire. See you next Tuesday. Drink a warm glass of Drano. Night attack. Night attack. Night attack. Night attack. Night attack. Night attack. Night attack, I love you. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>